Hello again, welcome to the next episode of the Beard Lube Editor tutorial. I'm recording this directly after doing the instances episode. And the reason I'm on the main menu is because to create an instance that we're going to be doing today, you need to be on the main menu. So to start off, I'm going to tell you how to create an instance, and then I'm going to show you how to edit an existing instance that Overkill has made. So to create an instance, we go in here, and so I'm going to create one for this test video. To do that, you need to go to the projects and hit add existing project. We're going to go to the test video, and within here, we can... What we need to do is add a new level. We're going to call this instance test. So this instance test level is going to be the instance. So call it whatever you want the instance to be called. Now that I have that, I can go back to here and I'm going to load up the instance test level. Should be nothing on here, so it'll load up pretty much instantly. There you go. So, you might have remembered this from the first episode of the Beard Lib Editor tutorial. What we're going to do with this, though, is I'm going to delete all of the useless stuff that I do not need. And we're going to keep this. I don't want this. I want this for what I'm placing objects, placing elements and stuff. But I don't want it when we're in the level and playing. Again, to do that, you just gotta go to here, the continent, change it to editor only. Editor only stuff will only show up in the editor. So this will only show up when we're in the instance itself. What I wanna do with this instance is create a little door that does stuff. I forgot. Doors are right here. <laughs> um, what door do I want? I want interactable. Door. Interactable door keycard. Exactly. Door keycard. So we're going to have a door like this. What's very important is. So you see where, like, this, this little icon is? This little icon will be on 0, zero of the level. So most of the time with instances, you want to put them, put everything around zero, zero. So that's what I've done. All zeros right there for the position. This is where the instance is going to be. To start off, I'm going to just disable it because I don't want to be activated by default. I want it to be activated after you do something. So that something's going to be in the actual world. So I want an instance input. I'll place it right there. They call this activate activate door. And it's going to just be called the event is going to be called activate door. And all it's going to do is just go to a unit sequence. Like that, that's going to go to the door, and it's going to activate it. Uh, one Only one element, so very easy. So we have that. That's going to go to here, and that's going to activate the door whenever we do something in the level. So, I want instance output. I want the game to know... When we're in the level, I want it to be like, hey, you open the door. So output, door opened. Door opened. And unit sequence trigger. Put it on this. That's going to be one door. Or just going to be one interact. Uh, open. I'm just going to click it to this. Oh, wait. Other way around. I messed that up. When this gets triggered, it's going to trigger this. 
which is going to trigger the instance output event in the actual map. So here's going to be my instance. It's very simple. Nothing complex about it. Just this. I'm going to hit save and we can quit. At this point, um, I should have had this set up beforehand. So I'm going to go to my maps folder, go to the test video folder, and I'm going to open up the main XML. All right, so we're in the main XML now of the tutorial map, the test video. And if you haven't show, seen this before, I just want to showcase what it is. So we have the table name right here. This is the narrative level. It's also the same down here. We can see the level is right here. Uh, it goes from here to here. This includes all the information like the AI group type, which is the enemies, the ID of the level, how many bags, player styles, TMAI, I turned it off. Um, this has the add files, which is important for doing extract loading. Uh, this has all of the files loaded that you need for the level. And then this has all the packages loaded right here. And then the, this down here is how to add objectives, which I should probably do a tutorial level on. I totally forgot. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, so we have all that. And here is the second level, which is the instance test right here. Down here we have the workshop ID. When you want to upload, you want to set this ID right here to whatever the, the workshop ID is. So if it's workshop.com or .net, I forget which one it's called, slash a bunch of numbers, use those bunch of numbers, you put them right here. You set the version number to what it is going to be on workshop, and you're done. Now that you have those, it'll auto-update. Every time you want to change auto-update, changes to that, change it on the mod workshop, and you're done. Um, we have the chain. This is the chain of levels that are going to be keep gonna be there. And then this is just like experience, money, payout, all that sort of stuff. Anyways, that's not important. That's not what we're doing right now. What we are doing is this instance. So I just have this copy paste here, and what it is, is how to create instances with this instance ID right here. So this instance ID, I'm going to call it instance test. So that's going to be the name of the instance itself. Um, it's going to be called, or it's going to be in levels instance test which is the same as up here. Again, same right here. Test. It only has a world and a continent. As we can see right here, instance, world, right there. It's the only thing that needs to be loaded. Um, the editor-only editor stuff you can load you wanted to we could just do it like that there and then the packages we have these two packages right here and we're gonna put them right there now that we have that we can start up the game and when we go into here we go instance test as you can see it pops up we put it in and voila just like that so we see this is exactly the same Elements wise is where it was in the instance and it's put down just like that cool so we have this now we could do just like we did before you walk in front instance input event I will go to the instance test activate the door like that and then when I walk up to the door it'll activate so you can see right now no activation can't interact with it 
walk to the area, now we can interact with it. Voila, that's how you create an instance. Of course, uh, if you want to do something very uh, big, it's probably advised for something as small as this instance, it's not really used. But let's go on to how to edit existing instances. Alright, so I want to edit an existing instance. To start off with editing an existing instance, you want to find the instance that you want to edit. To do that, you go to the extract, you go to levels, um, depends on the pathing, but I'm going to go to instances, well, no, it's always instances, now it depends on the pathing. Um, just follow the ID that the instance has, if you have an existing one. I don't have one of mine, so I'm just going to grab a random one. Let's go to one called, not the spider. Yeah, let's do this meth lab. No, 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 no. C4 wall, yeah. That sounds interesting. Uh-oh. Undo. There you go. So what you want to do with this, you want to just take it, copy it over to your levels, and we have it right here. With this, I'm going to go back to mods, build lib editor, and you want to go to hooks. Okay. So once we have this in here, you want to delete one thing called the mass unit. Just delete it. It's not useful. And then from here, you want to go to world definition. And you want to go to line 158 right here, which is create mass unit. Just delete that line. Um, I don't know how harmful it is to keep playing without that there. So after you're done uh, creating the, asset, uh, the instance initially, just uh, add that back with the undo button. Okay? Then what we want to do is we want to go to here, copy it. I'm going to get rid of all these packages because we don't need them. And... We see that there's only a world, so we don't need... <coughs> okay, and we don't need the world, and we don't need the environments. So we just have this. We're going to change it to... What are we going to call the ID? Um... It's advised, I like to say, well, okay, so if you're editing an existing one, I like to just, it's better to just uh, rename it a little bit, so I'm just going to call this test at the end. So the ID is going to be the same as this, that, that, that. There you go. Uh, let's just delete all of that. There you go, so we have that. That's all done right there. We're now going to start up the level. Or start up the game, I should say. And... When in the game... I'm going to go... Uh, I forgot one step. I forgot one step. I'll show you. Hold up. There you go. I forgot one step. We're going to take this ID. Come down here to the chain. And we're just going to add it right there. So I forgot that step, and because of that, it doesn't show up there, but we're just going to load up the map, and then load into that new stash C4 wall test. Let's just do a stretch. Okay, so now that we're in the level, we're going to go to here. We can see it's there now. 
Now to do it, you need to load it in safe mode because it has no packages. You gotta remember. So we're gonna load up the level in safe mode and go to assets. It has one thing. We're gonna load uh, fix my search and packages. Click that. Most of the time, it'll have one thing that's highlighted that shows all of the objects because it is an instance. Um, packages are loaded with the instance, so you see right here. This is the same as uh, the normal instance. So, I'm going to load it in. And you can see right here, this is the instance. We, uh... Overkill instances are very weird because they kind of just put elements wherever. Start explosion. Um, trying to find something. There you go. So there's the instance input. There's a bunch of just mumbo jumbo over there. Uh, so there's a bunch of interesting stuff. This was not really a good instance to choose from. But as you can see, once we're in here, this is literal, literally the same instance that's used in the levels, the actual level, and we could just edit this however we want. All right, I've used this a couple times, mainly on Zombies House. All of the windows in that level are instances, so I had to go in, edit the instance, remove everything but the window itself, so it just had the window, uh, which meant on Hoxton Revenge, you know, when you shoot the windows, it starts the alarm. Um, I had to remove all that logic. I removed all of the blinking lights that show the GenSec, the GenSec symbols. So for that, that's what I did. But anyways, uh, as you can see, I can load in normal default overkill instances, and that's how you do it. Easy as pie. If you want to take overkills instances and change them up slightly to fit your needs. So, as we learned in this episode, we learned how to create an instance, how to use an instance, and how to make use overkills instances and make them your own. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I think in the next episode, I'm going to go over some basic stuff that I totally forgot to go over, which is the the stuff in main XML with the briefing event and all that sort of stuff. All right. See you then.